Hello everyone, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. So today, it actually hurts me so much to speak. I split my lip so every time I like, it stretches, it's like <coughs> So in today's video, I am actually doing another full face of first impressions. I am getting so sick of these videos and you guys probably are too, but I had so many new makeup items that I just really, 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 really wanted to try and let you guys know how they go. So I am doing another full face of first impressions. I'm sorry. Please let me know in the comments what guy, what, what guys you would like to see, what videos you guys would like to see on my channel um, as well. Any suggestions are welcome. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it, honey. Let's see if these products square up or how they square up, if they square up. Does it make sense? Okay, so first things first, I'm going to do my eyeshadow as usual. In case I get any fallout or anything like that, I don't want to ruin my base makeup. So I am going to prime using concealer. I always prime using concealer because it just like gets rid of all my discoloration. And so this one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. I am going to use the shade Medium Light Neutral. I always conceal in here as well because I, I feel like once you've done your eyeshadow it's really hard to get any concealer in there to brighten it up. Look at this cute new beauty blender I picked up as well. Oh it is definitely full coverage. I have actually never had a concealer that covered my freckle just here but as you guys can see this one did. I'm so excited. That freckle is like the feature I hate the most about my face. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I covered it. That's amazing. So now for powder to set that in place, I'm gonna be using this one from Becca. This is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I actually had someone DM me and recommend this to me saying they loved it just as much as the Charlotte Tilbury one and they knew how much I loved that. I immediately went online and bought it. <laughs> I love the um, packaging. What? Oh my goodness. I don't know if I like that. It feels wet, but it's dry. It's dry, right? What on earth? Okay. Interesting. That's cool. I can dig. The palette that I'm going to be using today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, the brush fell out. I was like, what the hell? So today on my eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette, which is so up my alley. This is, I know I say this about all of their palettes, but this is honestly like the most beautiful palette that I have seen. I feel like this will be like my new go-to eyeshadow palette, take it traveling with me. Oh, oh, look at those colors. So I'm going to start with Orange Soda as my transition shade. And I'm going to take this shade here called Burnt, Burnt Orange, which for the longest time in the single shadow, I called it Burnt Orange Matte. It's got a lot of kickback, that shade, which I don't mind. But, you know, people seem to kick up a stink about it for some reason. I don't really see what the big deal is, but I'm just saying. Oh, I love it. They blend so beautifully. Oh my gosh, it has been a minute since I've used Sienna. I used to love that shade. I'm gonna be going in with the shade Sienna now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and deepen that up with Cypress Umber. Okay, so now I'm going to be picking up this shade right here, which is called Sultry. And I am going to be popping this on my lid, but kind of just like the middle to outer corner of my lid because I want to put a lighter color towards the center. And towards the center, I'm going to be putting the shade next to it called Rose Pink.
I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to take the Black in the Palette Noir and I'm going to use this just to line my lash line to help false lashes blend in a little bit easier. I just want to blend the tops of it in with my eyeshadow so it kind of gradiates. For my lashes today, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Trouble Maker Mascara. The packaging is so cool. I love it. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, the effort. I love, I love that mascara. Urban Decay mascaras and concealers. Always so good. All right, time to get started on the face. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is prime. And I have this primer here from Tatcha. This is the Silk Canvas. Filter Finish Protective Primer. Invisible layers of silk instantly filter away imperfections and impurities for alluring skin all day and over time. Let me zoom you guys in so that we can see if it helps the situation. I don't know how to like, oh, <laughs> whoops, it's fine. Oh, I think that's way too much. Very hydrating. I love the feeling. I wouldn't exactly say it's like getting rid of my imperfections though. It's also really like, I feel like it's luminous. Are you guys seeing that or is it just me? I love the way this primer feels and I really like the way that it looks. I feel like it just gives like a little bit of luminosity and hydration to the skin and for foundation i asked you guys on instagram if you wanted to see me try this foundation or this foundation more and this one is the winner so this is the mark jacobs shameless foundation here i have the shade y370 oh it's really watery i gotta shake that the noise <laughs> i'm gonna keep you zoomed in so you can kind of see what the deal is oh it's very watery I'm loving this foundation. Not at all cakey. I would say it has like a medium coverage. My freckles are still visible though, but I find it really hard to cover my freckles. Like I don't think I've ever like fully covered my freckles while doing my makeup. Going back in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. That concealer is amazing. It fully covered my pimple. This full face of first impressions is going so well so far. I also have one of the new Hourglass uh, Vanish highlighting sticks. This one is in the shade Champagne Flash. I've already just dirtied it with all my foundation. Um, so I'm just, I don't know if I, I'm just gonna put it straight on, I think. Oh, that's a nice color. Hot diggity dog. Oh my god, stop, I love that. I'm just trying to put it in as many places as I can because I am obsessed. It's so creamy. The color is incredible and it blends out so nicely. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, I am so excited to go back in with this powder. I'm so intrigued by it. It's honestly like the strangest sensation. Like I feel like I shouldn't be putting it on. <laughs> Feels 
wrong but good at the same time because it, it literally feels wet like it feels like I'm putting a cream product or oh, it, it just feels like I'm putting water on my face right now and it's so whack like I don't like the feeling of putting it on my face but at the same time I do because I'm like oh. <laughs> that's cool okay so for contour I have the Natasha Denona contour sculpting powder this one is in the shade 02 medium Is the perfect shade. Look at that. Doesn't that look natural? It looks like I have cheekbones. I'm skinny. All right, and I'm also going to add some blush. So I have this Natasha Denona blush duo number eight, the palette number eight. I'm going to be using this shade right here. I feel like it doesn't really go with the look, but it's the only new blush I have. You know, I have been wanting to try this since it came out, but I just hate going to Sephora because it's so far away from my house. This smells like a candle. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how much I love that contour. I feel like I shed like 10 kilos. Oh, and this blush is gorgeous. This has been the best full face of first impressions ever. I wish it wasn't 10 p.m. <laughs> so I could go and get some photos in this makeup. Oh, it's glowy too. Oh. Okay, so for highlighter, the only one that I have to try is this Too Faced one. Will you? Watch my videos. I don't know what this is called. It doesn't like have a name on it. It looks like blue when I swatch it on my hand. I hope this doesn't ruin my makeup. Okay, I don't want to use any more of that. Listen, the highlighter is nice. Very shiny, blends very well, but I just feel like it doesn't match today's makeup, you know? So I don't like want to do too much, <laughs> but I do like it. I like the formula and I like the color. I just feel like I should stay more champagne-y, you know what I mean? I don't have a new eye pencil, so I just used my NYX Jumbo eye pencil, the black one, in my waterline. And now I'm going to dip back into my Soft Glam palette. I'm going to pick up the shade Sienna and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. Connecting it over the side here with the top. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of Cypress num Cypress number Cypress umber with Noir just really close to my lower lash line and just kind of on the outer edge there just to deepen it up and give the lower lash line a bit of dimension back in with my mascara I'm actually going to try and use this blush here to highlight the inner corner just want a little something something and I don't want it to be too much of a something something, you know. And then on the lips today, I have the XO Beauty Matte Lipstick. This one is in the shade Deja Vu. Look at that color. Doesn't that look like the perfect nude? I'm excited. Ow. Oh my god. I feel like I can't give a proper review of this lipstick. Other than the color is beautiful. I just can't apply enough pressure to my bottom lip right now and my lips are that dry feels so creamy looks amazing on the top lip <laughs> just I can't deal with the bottom lip right now and this color is to die for oh my goodness I love it <laughs> I love it you've killed it Shannon damn I love this makeup I wish it wasn't 10 p.m. wait <laughs> if you did please make sure to give this one a thumb okay Okay, so that brings us to the end of today's video. I feel like this was such a massive success. Like, the way my skin looks, I can't get over it. My skin has just never looked this good. Everything worked so beautifully together. Just the products alone 
were all so amazing like I loved everything oh, this was such a success I love when everything goes well in these videos so I really hope that you guys enjoyed if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video I love you bye